with it, but it is met by Tetra. Broken Arrow pops the ball up. They look for the ball straight down, but they are denied in that vertical position. Tetra looking for the goal of their own, but Jolik is there. Macho Man cannot shoot it, cannot get it on. Broken Arrow continues with the momentum the other way, and the counterattack is denied for Simo. They do not get the bump, but it would not have mattered nonetheless. Jalik whiffing and a uncharacteristic amount of whiffs from Simo compared to what we saw. Oh my goodness, that goes in. Macho Man, another goal off that corner. Another stylish one at that. And look at the angle on that double tap. It's one nothing Simo. Infield pass, but no, it's the fake that goes awry. Brody establishing control, goes up, does not get their flip off of it, and just gets the bump out of it, does not get the ball into the middle. And we've seen passes go towards that middle position, but if it's too close to the goal, it's easily saved by the defenders that are establishing control in that position. Nice pass in the middle, Taco Stash up to the top corner and nails that top shelf. 40 seconds left, and they get the first goal, and possibly the only one they'll need as they take the first lead in this best of three. Settle, and will send it away. Brody doing the exact same thing, but Therm with a nice little backflip, who sends it in that same position. Taco reading that like a book, and will get the 50 down. Nevo with the shot. Oh, Taco with the redirect. It wasn't needed, but they figured they'd get yet another goal for their team. A bit of information for you. Of the five goals scored so far for this squad, Paco has scored every single one. Team alive. Spikes planted into the three versus three. Shoker will make first contact. There's a sky in their close right. They need to check their corners. It's the first goal. They lose that. They lose the fight nonetheless. It is traded back. Con artist will get the kill in return. Into the two versus two. But they'll die just the same to their doppelganger. Enzo, a nice kill on one. Looking for the second. But it is shut down. We are going to see doppelgangers through and through on Haven, and well, we've seen them kill each other already so many times. That time, it nets the round for those attackers, and they tie things up yet again. I'm honestly shocked that we're seeing everything so 50-50 sided like an honest-to-God coin flip, because you and I were doing... All five players are making their way over, four of which through that defender spawn. A couple will make their way up those stairs, and they will try to split this pushback into sight. It's the Killjoy, the last one to make their way through as they head towards that short position. Nice shock dart up. It'll do a decent bit of damage on the two different players, the Soba and the Jet, both taking the damage, and Blackheart will remove their Doppelganger of Mask with their own utility. Connor is one fireball, one of their own. Blackheart will double up, as will Fireball up. It's a flawless second round, a converted one at that. The first time we've seen a converted pistol round so far in this best of three, and now 404 have brought it within two. In round number three Pulling of the, the half, vision. Kyle will try to use as much of their stars as possible. They will continue to push forward. The integration there on Joker. In comes the peak. They will open things up. Mash oh, a nice kill there. Makan turns it right back on Enzo. Mash double down. As One they try to push forward, they will try to clutch it. But Kyle cannot get that final kill. Connor is a killjoy to clutch things yet again. It's within one, and 404 have brought it ever so close is going to be popped on Kev as they are only nine kills in on this one. The right click misses. No. Oh no. Fireball gets the kill onto Kyle and fades away. Enzo looking for another Kev so low. Joker, a kill onto Enzo. This is looking dire. This is looking difficult and maybe even detrimental to the one attack. Enemy Joker remaining. one. Joker oh, no. with the third on the round. It's Cuz left alone. One versus is five the up. vandal and 150 hp is all that remains fireball they lead. open things up they will close things out it will be 404 your vpl season two champions now into the two versus three this is for the map or just to send us to a 15th round best impacts is going to look across but buckting with one soggy with one of their own it's now just down to best impacts the ace with the ak-12 arguably the best gun in the game can they utilize it to the fullest extent possible so far the answer is no they are the first to take damage they're also found out by that banshee they're going to have to reposition or they're going to have to win some gunfights there's a prone player in front of you they are not expecting it fucking with the clothesline shotgun closes out map one and team soggy 
take it, 8-6. Done, but not enough to take out Soggy, not enough to remove the diffuser. Now it's planted, and now in comes the rotate. Oh no, the shot's missed. He gets out, Sin gets away, and this is the opposite of what the defense wants. They combine 48 HP between them. Nice shot across, that does take out Sin, but Soggy does get taken out as well. Fembo with a triple fleek. The shots are on fleek. That's what you need, that's what they get, and a fourth round on the board. Team CJ seem like they cannot be stopped. Cross engage the first to fall once the action kicks underway. Oh, Ben holding across the nice kill. Ooh. Oshi to turn things back instead of the three versus three. 25 seconds left on that clock. Ash will push in, but are they aware of the long angle? Seems like they are, but will they get the kill? No, they won't. They won't take any damage either, but Fendry will take out Crafty, playing the long angle on the other side. It will be Zeke to be down, but they will stay alive for the time being. Fendry gets the kill on the Gekyu. It's into the one versus three. They get oh. one onto Vim, but they cannot continue it. Fendry will get the final kill required, and Overture upset on this Surf Esports Academy map pick. They take Clubhouse 7-5. This angle, as they will still have two Shamika launchers left, but Maple getting the kill onto Spiff will drop that Cade. Another C4 off the board. More plant denial taken out. Tones has to hold the long angle, as one more Shamika will go through. The last one will rain through. CJ taken out by that Shumika launcher. I don't know how they are taken out. Tones holding the long angle. They're gonna drop that Nomad as well. In comes the play through study. One drop, they look for the last one. Maple planting in the close corner. They have to play time, they have to play oh, oh, oh. They cannot do so. Poison will finish off Villa with a nice and tidy multi-kill and Mystic will win map one. Error will get a kill over towards A. That is the CT player taken out, but that's only a consolation frag. A headshot across, it will be Mainzy to win that fight with the AK superiority, but the mid play has to come through, and with the bomb drop, there's not much you can do. Casus with the frag, it's error, one versus two, AK and 20 seconds is all they're given, and they've been found Wait, out. The information oh, has been afforded, Cabo with a peek across will give Alcatraz the round, and they finally get their mojo back. They finally pick up a CT-sided round and give themselves that momentum in their favor. As it's into the three versus three, an even keeled up round, but well, with Legates on this CT side, every round is anything but even, and you can see exactly why. Paul with one, they look for more. The turn still nets them a bunch of damage, and Caption from behind will take out Big Eddie. Gucci, planning in default, is left alone. One versus two. Flashbang will come over. They can't see a dang thing. It's the assist from Paul, the flash assist from Matrus, and Legate Saffron on to 10 rounds, only 11 rounds into Vertigo. Maybe, of course, assuming they win a fight. Now in comes the push. Mo, very close to Amp Matrix, looking to try and get that as soon as possible. Looks like they will before the fight starts. And down it will go. Diva Bomb does come in, but it actually gets oh, two as Aster and Yoshi are dropped. It's another kill for Digital J. Lump gets one. Insane Waya can only get one before being dropped. It's another hold from this ISSHO side. They look to keep things locked down in a nice fight there as look at the placement from Queen, a nice opening couple of kills.